This is the absolute last time that I am resurrecting you, Demon Joe, you worthless slime! Now, you're supposed to share DNA with Angry Joe. Tell me, how do I finally destroy him? Ride to hell too! No, you idiot, that is way too obvious. I'll see that coming a mile away. We need something more sinister. Something we can disguise. Perhaps a spin-off in a very popular franchise. Hey, what's up, Abraham Jackson? Who? Oh, he's a generic umbrella soldier that was killed a long time ago from Resident Evil. That sounds like a stupid made-up name. No, he's not made up. Everybody killed in the Resident Evil games, in fact, end up down here, in hell, with us. <laughs> mm. That's it. I've got it. Hey, Abraham Jackson Lincoln, whatever your fucking name is. I got a great idea. You want to star in your own video game? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Of course you do. Oh, don't run away. Here, come here. Hey, did you guys know there was a brand new Resident Evil spin-off game out right now for fans and lovers of competitive shooters? Yup. It's called Biohazard Umbrella Core. And if you were unlucky enough to buy it, this is probably how things went for you. Alright, Umbrella Core. Oh! Fuck! Oh! Fuck! Oh! Oh! God, my fucking eye! Seriously, who fucking thought that this was a good idea? I had to push this review up before Doom, before whatever else, because I am so fucking shocked and appalled at Capcom. And plus, it's been a long while since we've had a proper angry review. It's the same fucking level. We have like literally been in the same fucking level like for I don't know how many missions now. How many missions? Five missions? Four, four missions. Four. This one's mine. Wow. This is very low effort. I don't think I've Seven seen ten. a developer do lower effort on one of their franchises. And granted, this is a spin off, but you'd think they'd try to put a little more effort into their spin off because people may not play it if they don't put some good effort into it, but. <laughs> I guess I was wrong! And trust me, you're gonna be angry. Getting this home and playing it is like getting punched in the face by corporate, then robbed. What the fuck was that? What the fuck just hit me? Oh my eye! Where's my wallet? My wallet, what the fuck? It took my money! How did it take my money so quick? It just punched me! It took my money! For seven dollars! What the fuck? And he left the game? He left the fucking game? What? Why would you take my money and not take the game? Well, at least I got a game to play. What the fuck? This thing should be banished back to whatever boardroom in hell this thing spawned from, this abomination. Because it's the single worst sorry excuse for a video game I've played all fucking year. She came out of nowhere. She's biting your ankles. I don't know what she's doing now. She's biting the air while humping me with her vagina. <laughs> what the hell? Do not, I repeat, do not buy this shit. Fuck this game. He said, fuck you too. <laughs> fuck this game. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. What's worse is Capcom knew how shitty this game was. It's worse than Raccoon City by far, and they even decided that they couldn't get away with selling it for $60. Even Capcom, though you know you they wanted to. It, it, it's zero dollars. It would be way too much, as there are countless free-to-play games out there with more content and purpose. But that won't stop them from offering a deluxe edition and DLC. Don't want to play as the generic soldier? No worries. You can play as the classic Resident Evil characters if you f 
fucking buy the deluxe edition. $15 for these skins. Oh, and another $3 if you want to customize your characters with such exclusive colors as plastic orange, plastic blue, plastic yellow, and glossy fucking red. Glossy red. If you can't see what Capcom is doing here and how it's banking on our stupidity, then I'm sorry. No, we can't allow this. Tell everyone you know, share this video with everyone you know, and tell them to f right the hell off and stop molesting the Resident Evil license on these evil spin-offs. Let me tell you about the game. It is so mind-numbingly repetitive, so shockingly lacking in content that it reminds me of last year's Godzilla. No worse! At least in that game, it could lean on its badass nostalgic monsters. That's not here! It can't hear! Honestly, I think I'd rather play Godzilla because at least I'm playing with, you the know, characters the characters that I know. <laughs> this, is, this is, unless you have nostalgia for the generic fucking bad guys that you shot and killed in Resident Evil, there's no fucking point. Which, who would? <laughs> Where the fuck is the content? I just, I just checked up and down and there's two fucking modes. Two! And, and a mission gauntlet that's a sorry excuse for, for a single player. There's no semblance of story, no cutscenes, no bosses, no Resident Evil, no nothing! The game offers no real additional insights into the Umbrella Corporation for which it's named unless you count these fucking diaries written by Abraham Lincoln, oh I'm sorry, Abraham Jackson, which seem to be written by a fucking eight year old. The zombies are very hungry, and they have been waiting for a long time <laughs> to, to try to stay alive. But I won't hold my breath or anything, okay? Bye! Who the fuck, <laughs> Who the fuck wrote this, Joe? Did you write this? I didn't write that. I didn't do shit. I didn't touch it. <laughs> Perhaps one of Capcom's executive preschoolers wrote this shit. Who's gonna tell them no? Begin recording. After 20 long travel hours, we finally arrived at the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> Unfortunately, Honker is here too. This asshole doesn't acknowledge the fidelity of the CQBZ. I hate him and his stupid nose! Still Excellent writing. In this single player mission gauntlet called The Experiment, you've got 24 repetitive generic missions. I counted them. I put myself through it to count them. That's it. We found it. This is the end. We, we found it. Angry Joe knows how many missions there are. Not even the wiki knows how many missions. They say there's 20. There's not 20 missions. There's 1, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There are 24 missions. I swear to you, it's the same fucking map like six times, one right after the other, collecting the same fucking DNA objective samples over and over. Am I supposed to do this samples. super fast or something? There it is. You gotta get the samples. What? Tell me again. Collect the infected samples. Samples? Yes. Which is this one? Uh, this is level Spice two. Oh, <laughs> spicing things up already? Let's see. Let's see. Collect the infected DNA samples, same thing. Wait a minute. <laughs> How is that spicing things up? That's not spicing things up. Just collecting samples still? Yes. <laughs> Did you expect something else? Yes. Whoa, Joe! We can branch out and play a non-linear mission. Guess what we gotta do? We gotta either collect the infected DNA <laughs> or collect the infected DNA or guess what? Collect the infected <laughs> DNA! Godzilla is approaching the generator! Level 1, collect samples. Level 2, collect samples. Level 3, collect samples. Level 8, collect samples. Level 17, collect samples! There it is. Sample obtained. There it is. There it is. There it is. Sample obtained. Sample obtained. Sample obtained. Sample obtained! Obtained! Sample obtained! Sample obtained! Sample obtained! Sample obtained! Sample obtained! Sample obtained!
The controls are shit. And why is there so much fucking cover? It's a cover-based shooter where you're fucking fighting zombies and these zombies don't have guns. You don't need fucking cover. Get off me. You're a cheap shit. A little bitch slap kills him. Is that it? Shit. Okay. Why do I need cover? Somebody tell me why I need cover when zombies don't fucking shoot. Where the fuck did he go? And don't say cover is for the fucking multiplayer when you're fighting other players because no, it's pointless there and I'll get to that later. But there are serious problems with just about every aspect of this game's design. It's as if Capcom forgot. Capcom Japan completely forgot how to develop games. True survival. Not New patch earned. You can't just make up these terms like true survivor and have them mean anything in this game. Like, true survivor is something that you earn over many. Never no. mind. You just run across the map, everybody gets the kills. That makes you the ultimate There warrior. is absolutely no thought. This is the this is a colossal embarrassment of Capcom. How could they let something like this come out? It's free, right? Understood. No! Aiming with your mouse is the most disgusting feeling ever. Maybe because apparently your arm is freaking broken when you hold your freaking pistol. Who the fuck holds a gun like this? Who holds a gun like this? You don't hold a gun like that! I didn't even shoot him in the head, it just... You survived! What's wrong with my arm? Isn't, <laughs> isn't that like this? You customize your gun. <laughs> isn't he shooting like this? Just let them come up. You'll have to mess with your sensitivity immediately because your character moves like molasses when you need to quickly turn around, which is often when zombies can spawn in when you aren't looking and ambush you constantly. The AI is so fucking dumb and cheap. <laughs> Let him be. Leave him alone. Shh. Just leave him alone. He's special. Just leave him <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I, 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 leave alone. I just oh, have anything on. to do with Resident Evil? There's zombies. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if you seen. Have you enemy. seen the other man? Drink. Which <laughs> way did he go? Soda. <laughs> God damn it. Soda. <laughs> do I kill them? And oh my God, the birds! <laughs> Fuck the birds in this game! God dang bird, I can't even see. Fuck! Sample obtained. That's so t fucking cheap. Get off of me! This fucking bird! Sample obtained. There's a goddamn bird! These fucking birds, the controls to attack the bird is fucking so close to the goddamn crouch button that you're always crouching when you're trying to attack the fucking birds. What is this? A fucking fuck? Sample obtained. I fucking hate you. This one's mine. What the fucking die? I'm gonna kill all the birds in the world. Come on, you bastard! Come on, you fucking bitches! I'm here! Kill me! I'm here! It's just gonna fucking respawn from the air! I knew it! Kill me! I'm here! They respawn from the same goddamn fucking area! Who the fuck is spawning all these birds?
<laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> My pretty demon raven. Oh, what's that? You're hungry. You want Angry Joe's flesh. Yes? Oh, you're getting excited. Okay. Unleash. Unleash. Swarm him. Kill him. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you doing? No. Not me. No. The game even sort of penalizes you for shooting zombies in the head. That's right. In this game, it's far more effective to shoot them in the knees or in the butthole. They die quicker, and since it's timed, you don't have time to wait around for the fucking headshot animation to complete and give you the fucking DNA sample. So if you uh, see, I'm wondering, see, you don't want to, you don't want to pop their heads off. That's I what think. It was. I was trying to go for the headshots, kill them faster, but it takes them a while. This game is such a fucking chore to play through. There are no good checkpoints. And just when you've had enough of the same shit over and over and over, it suddenly requires you to do these, these objectives three times in a row, in rounds. And if you die in any of them, you start all over. Shit. What the fuck? I can't, what the fuck, it's a fucking birds! Hurry, put the birds on it, it's a goddamn game! Fuck! This is an experiment, all right. Yeah, it's a fucking experiment and how much visual ass torture the devs can inflict on players before we end up turning into zombies ourselves. <laughs> It's killing me! Ah, damn you, Capcom! I'm turning! Ah. Yeah, this is how the plagas and zombies are truly made. I, I know it from now on. And what do you get for going through this? Fucking decals! That's the fucking decal! That's the worst fucking decal I've ever seen in my fucking life! What the fuck? There's a trailer at the end for this game that you just fucking played. No boss, no, no final cutscene, no nothing. A fucking trailer. Kill the enemy team. Remember, just business. Understood. And the whole thing can be completed in less than three hours! 24 missions of the same objective over and over over six maps! And I, I think Capcom thought they were making the next best esports game or Call of Duty killer. Otherwise, why is this shit taken so seriously? There is a surprising level of detail and control of your character customization. But what's the point when the actual game is fucking garbage? You can only dress up a turd so much, but it's still a big fucking smelly turd. And I mean, it, and this if this game has a single person who hacks the code to start cheating, there, let's be real, there's no anti-cheat in this game. You could just cheat all day long in this thing. Capcom's not gonna support this with anti-cheat. Let's try the other one. All right. Hey, you got a new weapon! And you got a smirk! You got a motherfucking smirk! <laughs> How do you use that? Like this? Let's use it. <laughs> like this?
don't think that's a smirk. We haven't earned that emote yet. If you ever wanted to see how clueless Capcom Japan is or can be, all you have to do is fire up this game's online and play for three minutes. Just three minutes though, because no matter which of the fucking two modes in the game that you play, one life mission or multi-mission with whatever pathetic samey variation of objectives you're gunning for, all the matches last three minutes. That is not enough time to make any sense of strategy or compelling matches whatsoever. Not with what they've developed here. Profit, we ain't looking for profit, we're looking for free balance. Look at the way they balance the teams! It's a six and a three for... There's no fucking balance that's, in the game! Maybe they didn't even bother balance. to balance this game! It's 3v3! They didn't even bother to balance this game. It's 3v3. <laughs> what is wrong with that? This is Godzilla levels of bad. <laughs> the best strategy is to just run around with your brain or melee weapon out and surprise players. Cover means shit. Wait. God damn it. But honestly, it's not like you'll get to those three minutes quickly on PC. It's like 10 hours into its launch and nobody was even fucking playing the thing. You telling me, in the whole world, we can't find three people? <laughs> Anybody in the chat buy this game? No, don't no, listen. No, I'm asking. If oh no, look no. what you did! No! If anybody bought this game, come join us. We're no! Lonely. We are lonely guys out here. <laughs> I bought this game release day, launch day, where everybody's playing it, right? This is going to be the most players this game ever has. And the game life is already done. It's already over with. Nobody's playing it anymore. Good. Good for you guys. But then, but then the players started to come and I, and I was, I was sad. I was just sad that I didn't get to them first and I didn't get this video out before they bought it. This insultingly underdeveloped spinoff has the gall to exploit your fandom of Resident Evil. Instead of using its license to the fullest, it focuses on 3v3 competitive online arena battles with the generic Call of Duty cannon fodder brain dead bad guy soldiers from Umbrella. And, and in that sense, it nails it. It is a brain-dead, clueless game about stupid, generic guys that you're supposed to kill in the Resident Evil games that suck balls. And they nailed that. Playing it does, in fact, suck balls. So 10 out of 10, if your intention was to have your players simulate sucking balls while obtaining stickers and decals. Sucking balls and getting decals. That is Umbrella Corp. Fuck you, man. I won all right on that last one. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? That fucking tie. What? Yeah, boy, how's he doing it? Now I know the purpose of this game. <laughs> to break that. This is the purpose of the game. It's very rare for me to see such a poor concept actually finished and realized and make it to the store shelves. And if this was ever a good idea, it was executed in the worst way possible. The final verdict for Umbrella Core is a two! A two out of 10! I'm not joking when I say this game feels unfinished. I've seen pre-alphas that are more complete and have more content than this shit. It's worse than a substandard free-to-play game. But it's not free-to-play. It is a retail title that was released on PC and PS4 at $40. Deluxe Edition. Name any free-to-play game out there. It's got more content. The, the defunct Nosgoth has more content. Even last year's Abomination Fear Online looks like an epic compared to this shit. And when you have options out there like Warframe, this is just unforgivable. And honestly, by this time next week, it's gonna be hard to just even find a ranked match or a match period. This game is dead on arrival. But does Capcom give a shit? Nope. They released it anyway to make up for the time and resources they spent developing the shit turd when it should have been canceled far before release. And if I ever find out 
who developed this crap, I will make them burn every copy. Oh, I see now. You guys. Demon Joe and Corporate Commander. Looks like a little trip to hell is in order. Woohoo! Put Doom up on that screen. Fire up that music. Yeah! From my personal collection, DP12 Shotgun. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yes. We did it. We fooled. <laughs> Domination! You know who won? Capcom won. They got your money! <laughs> you fool! Very good. Very good, Joe. You fool, your soul is mine. <laughs> you fool. Your soul is mine. You fool. Your soul is mine. Stop playing, I can't! Your soul is mine. <laughs>